guys good to have you all back in case you're new to my channel my name is margaret i'm from the netherlands i have a big project in mind for today so i am quickly going to tell you what it is or what we're going to use and my inspiration for it yeah my inspiration came from barbara at by bar paper lover i'm going to link her youtube channel below she is a dutchie hello barbara um, and I sent her a couple of weeks ago the 10 items challenge and she accepted and made something fantastic and then she sent it to me yes in this cute little envelope isn't it adorable I'm gonna cover my address guys this is actually from one of her digitals she also has some beautiful digitals sells it in her coffee shop uh, and she made this one it is a specimen slides miniature junk journal grungy thing it is fantastic i've been looking at this beauty for a couple of days now getting a lot of inspiration you can tell she's into vintage into grungy into tim holt <laughs> uh, into her sewing machine um she is just absolutely amazing and i love her so um our styles are a little bit similar but uh, she's way better at the grungy thing than i am so i need some practice so what i want to do is make something similar larger version but lots of grungy stuff and vintage stuff and you know so it's going to be a field note type of junk journal notebook thingy yeah uh, and i'm using all sorts of lovely real vintage um, ephemeras mixed with some new items also i'm going to use a couple of new toys <laughs> yes that i bought recently that i want to share with you um for the papers i'm gonna use all of this hopefully i'm gonna go through them when i use them uh for the new toys let me tell you as for my new toys i bought this stencil from uh, tim holtz i don't know what it's called something with the coffee uh, coffee stains um i do have the packaging somewhere let's see is this the one yes stampers anonymous layering stencil does it have a number no, well, it's this one with the coffee from uh, Tim Holtz. I was very curious how this would work with all the these stains. Speaking of Tim Holtz, guys, I caved. Yes, I said I wasn't going to buy these, but I did uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, I really wanted to try it out, see what the difference is between handmade things like this or um, using your die cut machine. I like them i actually love them but and there is a but um they are really really expensive i admit and if you're a beginner you can make this with just scissors and stuff so uh but i am going to use it because i do love it what i absolutely love is the following i bought a stamp set by uh, from creative expressions designed by sample um i first saw this on eva bohemian crafting a couple of months ago and absolutely fell in love with it but i couldn't find it anywhere this is actually part two it's dates from the past part two part one is still available but you really have to search for it now um i you can probably find this on amazon i'm gonna play with it guys but i'm gonna uh, tell you in advance it's going to be sort of a treasure hunt to find this one absolutely love it because it has dates numbers words it's french absolutely love it i am going to uh, receive uh, part one <laughs> um this weekend so i'm gonna play with this uh, next week for all you dutchies out there i found this at do a ding in spikenissa i am going to link their web shop below mind you ladies this is only if you're in the netherlands in belgium or in germany she has a web shop she only has a couple of them available um but you know get it because i just absolutely love it if you're from the us or the uk this is actually from the uk amazon for sure for sure so my stamp set um i, I also found the sort of name of the stencil this is ths probably tim holt stencil 009 okay enough for the supplies i'm gonna use glue scissors inking a bunch you'll find out let's start for the cover i am using this file folder it looks vintagey it's not because it has like this barcode on it but the, the color is really really nice and vintagey uh, i just love it so i want this to be 
uh, the cover now this is like completely new sort of print so i don't I want to use this i'm going to cover it up but i do like the lines so this is going to be my cover now uh i'm not going to make it this big no i'm going to cut it in half make it shorter fold it in yep that's what we're going to do and i'm going to use all these lovelies some of my um embellishments that i made the other day and lots of vintage goodies i need to start using them also, guys, I'm going to use some acetate. I have a brilliant idea for acetate. Um, I'm going to use a ruler, which is even not big enough, and a knife just to cut this in half. Yes, for acetate, and I actually um, got the idea from a YouTuber. I don't know who it is anymore. It is either... It's one of the uh, UK ladies, for sure. It is either... Um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda or Tracy Fox, <laughs> Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. I don't know. Let me tell you what it is. Um, acetate, very hard to find. What is not hard to find? Well, not in the Netherlands, in a thrift shop, are these overhead projector uh, transparent sheets that you can print on. It's fantastic. I found a box. I found this in, in a thrift shop. Uh, OHP is probably overhead projector transparent. This is for inkjet printers, which I, I have. I'm not, I'm not going to print on it. I'm sorry, these are... You can also use these. These are the laminator sheets. Um, it's just these sort of sheets. Use it as laminate. Now I'm uh, laminate as uh, acetate. Now I'm I'm so sorry if I mentioned the wrong YouTuber. I can't remember anymore. But you know, one of you lovely ladies out there reminds me that that is fantastic for uh, acetate. Okay. Um, yes, I want to have this part. I'm going to fold this in. So half of this is going to be uh, the width. And now for the length, I want to have six inches i want to have this six inches tall hopefully my cutter will work with me today it's it doesn't really matter if it is a little bit over or shorter than six mine is just going to be six there you go oh i have another lovely piece i rarely use file folders for file folders uh, we're going to use this piece. Now, this has all these sort of um, scores in them. And I actually want to use this as a sort of a... I'm going to fold this right away, guys. As a sort of a flap closure thingy. Get your bone folder out. There you go. And then the other part I'm going to fold in. It's going to tuck under, underneath, like so. Is it straight? Hopefully it is. This is probably four inches. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four and a half inches. Because I use this as a flap. This is going to be sort of a closure thingy. Probably going to round corners or what have you. So this is going to be a sort of mini journal. Love this color. Now, what I want to do is make a window in here. Um, inspired by Barbara's project where she used the, the slide, the specimen slide. I am going to use, I have two. One of these from a, the, one of the Tim Holtz sets. Which one was it? Let me show you. This one. 665926 six, probably. Cut it off. It is fantastic. 26, yeah. Uh, I, I do like it. I do like it. Are we going to have the bigger one on here? Or the smaller one. Because I want to make a window in here. I think the smaller one. Definitely the smaller one. Because this is going to be the closure. So I'm uh, I'm going to run this through my um, die cut machine. And there you go. And there you go. But while I do this. I'm also going to use um, this one over here. Yes. Yes. Where's the die? Come on, guys, you can do it. Already picked them out. Tried them, guys. I already tried them. 
I want to do this. Is it called prize ribbon? I think so. I'm going to do it in one go. I'm just going to put this one on here. I like so. Because we don't, I'm not going to use this middle piece. That's why I'm doing it like so. Um, and I was thinking to have this number thingy, just a number. Now I did use it. Um, and only the numbers come out. I just, I wanted to have this in a, in a sort of a square, but we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. It's going to be fine. I need more tape. You need more tape. Yes, I do. I need more tape. Is your tape yellow? Let me see. Yes. <laughs> Very yellow. Great. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine to have a window in here. Yeah, I'll be right back. Here it is. See, I have a window now. I'm going to sort of um, put acetate behind there. Uh, while I was die cutting, I also did the rest of the set. Uh, this is going to be coin envelope. I think it's going to be lovely. It's going to be on uh, somewhere. And then all this lovely, loveliness. Everything I made was from the file folder. Yep. So before I put the acetate window in, I want to grunge it up. Normally, I wouldn't use, um, I don't use vintage photo a lot. For me, it's a little bit orangey. But on this green, it looks absolutely lovely. So what I want to do before I put the acetate on is to sort of ink these edges. Still have not found any makeup sponges, the tiny ones for this. Need to go have a look in my archive <laughs> of makeup items. See, grunching it up. Now, yes, I'm going to do all the edges as well, but I want this to look very old and vintagey. So I'm using this tool. You can also use um, your scissors. Let's say you have your scissors out. Do it like so, and then, you know, do it with your scissors. But you know, I've, I bought this tool, so why not? Um, I'm just going to run it over these edges before I ink it. Just to roughen them up a little bit. Yeah. And I'm also going to do this. Just folding over a little bit of the corners. Just to sort of age this. Roughen it up. Like it's been used. Yes. I'm rounding these corners. It's very heavy um, cardstock this. So my corner rounder is not really happy with it. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Do we also want to roughen up these edges? Of course we do. Yes, yes, now I'm going to ink. See, I have not used my vintage photo yet. Yes, I'm going to ink all around the edges, guys. I'm going to do that off camera. Then I'm going to roughen it up a little bit more, putting a little bit more ink. I want, to look, uh, want this to look as grungy as possible. Is it rough enough? <laughs> I just like it. Look, I flipped this and this and like all sorts of really nice grungy stuff to it. Okay, before I put in the acetate window, I'm going to attach it on the inside, of course. I want to do some stamping on the front first. Why? Because once the acetate is on there, I do not want to stamp on there because it will take forever to dry. So, of course, I'm going to take out this lovely stamp set. Uh, it's clear stamp. I like it. I'm going to use just black for, um, I'm going to use black, yes, because there's also some black lines on here. There's this sort of round seal thingy that I like. I'm going to have it sort of half on the window 
that's why I weighed it with adding the acetate, just like, just like so. See? Already looks lovely. Already looks lovely. Um, I don't have my wipe with me. But let's just see. Um, I'm going to have some words, of course. Register. Oh, these lines are amazing. You can sort of make your own whatever. Register. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, I do. I love my um, centric, but this is a little bit more... I don't know girly can i say girly because of the fonts that has been used it's like more of the curly sort of um handwriting so that's what i love about this what else do we have boulangerie patisserie that makes me hungry this is an address and i have that one on here not upside down love if you do it upside down you have to do it all over again so please be careful not to do this upside down thank you <laughs> there we go rue de la chapelle fantastic there are numbers on here but most of them are handwritten is in here perfume violet oh grand's magazine magazin i don't know is it, called? is it like a shop or uh a magazine i don't know it's going to be on top there somewhere Do you love them? I love them a lot. Shall we put on a date? Somewhere. I'm going to take this out because that looks nicer. Let's see. What date are we going to use? 30th October of 1927. Let's do that one. Yes. Here on the bottom. Yup. It's already lovely, right? It's like it's supposed to be there. Where was it? It was here. What else can we put on here? Well, we could do, of course, this. I'm gonna do it half on there and half on the other side. Oh, yes, I'm gonna do it like so. See that? <laughs> Fantastic. Can we put a number in? Or Paris, somewhere Paris. Let's just pretend this is in Paris. Well, Paris. Let's make it Paris. Looks much more sophisticated. These are sticky, like Elizabeth Craft Designs. I just need to get used to these uh, more sticky sort of. Lovely, lovely. Note important. Important note. There's probably a, an important note on here. I really like this one. Can we have it on top here? Probably can. Oh, this says 1926 uh, and this 1927. I'm okay with it. So there's two dates on here. How does this look? Need something here, of course. Yes. What? A date. <laughs> or at least a number. Oh, 1925. Which means this sort of notebook has been around for years. <laughs> oh, just lovely. Don't you love it? Oh, there's also 1925 on here. 
and a 77 70 uh, 72 wood well that's a lot can we put this one here you probably can Now this is set uh, number two. There's also a set number one. Probably doesn't have, have the one because they probably didn't know they were going to have several sets. Uh, I ordered it at Do A Ding and uh, it's coming in this Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, guys, if you're Dutchie uh, and you follow um, Elizabeth Craft Designs, I believe there's sort of a meet and greet this Saturday at Do A Ding um, with David. That I um, also met there a couple of months ago. Very kind man. Very, very kind. Do we need something here? Another Paris. I'm going to do another Paris there. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a meet and greet. So I'm going to be there for sure. To say hi again. I need to go there because I need to pick up my order. But you know, also to sort of support David. All sorts of loveliness right yes um now i'm going to do some coffee stains yep taking up my stencil i'm gonna use a brush and again a vintage photo Oops. and i think i want to have something like this over here I folded this up. This is not very handy <laughs> because now because now it isn't flat anymore. Oh, it'll be fine. Let's see if this shows up. Oh yes, it does. Oh yes, it does. And then the big coffee stain just you know over here because somebody put is its um, coffee cup on here properly. That's you know the idea behind it. Yes, love this. I'm also gonna do something similar um, on the back. Oh, you don't see it anymore because this flaps is, you know, well, we're gonna do a little bit more than over here. Let's just do this. Coffee splatters. See, over there as well. Yeah. Uh, also gonna do some coffee splatters on the back, but first I want to attach the coin envelope that I made. It's already lovely. Now let's do the window because you're probably curious um, how I'm going to do it. I have overhead projector sheets that have this sort of a tissue paper backing, which is really lovely because we can make some marks on them. I just cut out a little piece. This is actually a scrap that I had left from something. I'm just going to put it on the window on the inside, of course. I can see through, see? And this is the tissue paper, which is fantastic because now I can sort of mark it where I want to cut it. So I don't need to do any measuring. I just want to cut it here. Just cutting it. Oh, also I follow these loveliness. Yes, later, love. One thing at a time. I was just thinking, guys, the um, stamp set that I'm using now um, I just want to use that one, but combine it with a centric or field nose or oh, that's, it's going to be amazing. Amazing. I know these stamp sets can be a little bit pricey, um, but I'm, I'm happy to pay for it. I am not happy to pay for a stamp that's just a heart. You know what I mean? Or like, I don't know, a butterfly. You can only use it for so much. Uh, these these numbers and addresses and words and such you can use for basically anything. So I'm going to have this on here. Can you see? I'm hoping you can see. But before I do this, I have somewhere. I need to, I need to find it. I have so much stuff. Yes, I have these acetate sort of washi stickers, but acetate. I hardly ever use them because they're shiny. But guess what? They can be shiny on here. Yeah, because it's already shiny. So I'm just going to put this sticker on here. See, like so. Oh, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. Well, I think so. Uh, 
um, how does this work? I'm going to start from the bottom here. Be careful not to put it all the way to the top because you may not see it. Hopefully I'm doing it the right way now. Uh oh, it's already stuck. Please come off. Will we be able to see it? Yes. Yes, we are. A little bit too long. We're going to flip it over. Of course we are. That's okay. Great. Now, we need to glue it on. Yeah. It's the only thing I am not really happy about. On the other side, you will see the negative sort of of this image. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It is what it is. It's just, it is what it is. I'm actually going to trim off a little bit on this side. How well use your scissors. Yes, so there's sort of equal amount and um, everywhere. I'm going to use art glitter glue for this and something else. Not gluing on the acetate. I'm just gluing on the frame of the window. Also not very close to the edge because the glue will sort of spread and seep out. And that is absolutely not what I want. Are you okay, Art? I need to refill him. See, I'm gonna leave like one eighth of an inch. And also that is too much glue love. It will seep out. So a very small strip of glue. That is too much. I'm going to take a piece of tissue and hopefully I can sort of absorb it. There you go. And also over here. Right, so we were going to do it like so. Are we going to do it like so? Yes, like so. You see what the glue does? It sort of spreads. So I'm carefully sort of tapping it, making sure the glue doesn't go on the acetate beyond the frame. This will take a while to dry, but I have, I have another sort of idea for this because I really don't like this idea because you can see it. So I want to make a sort of a frame with pretty washi tape. I changed my mind, guys. Um, I normally do this when I have like a square, but this is with the sort of um, snip, uh, snip off corners. So I did this. I took out the exact same die, put it on this lovely piece of paper. I grunged it up, cut it out. I'm just going to glue this on. Yeah, just like that. Just like that, making it up as we go. Oh, I can tell you those are my most favorite projects. I'm using a glue stick for this because I I do believe we need to maneuver it about a little bit because I do not want to see any of this white paper that I absolutely love with all the numbers um, on the on the cover. So I'm trying to. Line it up as best as possible. Yes, worked straight away. Perfect, perfect, just perfect. Probably gonna have a small pocket over here. Great. Right, a couple of things that I want to do and I want to do it sort of quickly off camera. Guys, I have a whole bunch of beautiful vintage papers here. And I want to make a small signature that goes inside here. But that will take a lot of time. Uh, so I'm go just going to make the signature and then show you uh, what I used. Yeah. This is my signature. Guys, I'm going to do a flip through once it is in. Yeah. I'm going to need my all big needle. Big needle for this one. Because for the binding, I want to use some of this. This is a bag full of small sort of string. Um, that comes with, uh, sometimes I buy small boxes of newer beads, like wooden beads or something. 
and they always come with these sort of string thingies to make your own necklace or what have you uh, and i find it very interesting so i'm going to use this for binding so hopefully i have a needle that is big enough let me quickly check before you know i do anything um i'm not going to use my needle threader because i'm afraid it will break with this big thread so let's just see this is the biggest needle with the biggest opening i have Will it work? Yes, it is in. Now let's see how much we need. One, two, and a bit. There you go. So that's it for my needle. If you want a full video on how to sew in signatures, I have a couple of uh, journals that are made, mini journals and such, where you can see it. You can follow me along, guys. Uh, but I'm not going to do a like an in-depth tutorial on binding putting my signature in having it at an angle making a hole first in the middle i'm always eyeballing guys especially when i do just one signature yes it is through then like an inch and a half or so on top of that and sort of an equal amount on the other side Always make sure that it is at an angle. Yep. So there we go. Hopefully the, the holes are big enough because this is very heavy thread. But I think so. Starting in the middle. Gonna do this quickly, guys. Yep. Starting in the middle because I want the threads to be on the inside and not on the outside. Yes. Leaving a bit. Going all the way to the top or the bottom, whatever you want, lovies. Just twisting my needle through it. It's a big needle. I don't see the signature yet. Yes, there it is. Oh, come on. Oh, my thumb. Still not working with me. There you go. And then all the way to the bottom. Or the other side. Whatever you want. Oh, now I have to go back through the middle again. Will that work? Because <laughs> this is such heavy thread. Yeah. Hoping for the best, guys. Because... Now, hopefully this worked. What am I doing? Don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> I made a knot. There you go, it is in. It's in. Whew. Well, and that's just because I've used very heavy um, sort of, what do we call it? Thread, twine. What have you to make them shorter? There you go. I was afraid I did it upside down, but I did it the right side up. Now let's quickly flip through it. I'm starting with a map, a vintage map on the front because I thought it looked very lovely behind the window. See that? Very, just very lovely. Vintage map, this is a part of an envelope. One of these lovely numbers papers. I love this edge. This is vintage letter. But it's not written on. This is a vintage. Well almost an antique receipt. It is antique. Because it, this came from 1904. Isn't that lovely? This is some very old stationery. It has some small lines in them. You probably can't see. Um, another vintage envelope. Uh, from 1961 it says so over there what i did with the envelope i tucked the flap inside so it's a pocket now over here yeah another vintage receipt you could rip it don't rip it i'm gonna put a, a strip of washi over it and this the is this the middle of the signature yes it is it's flip out see from 1868 so yes this is um antique uh the other side of the um receipt something don't even know the other side of the envelope again it is a pocket 
writing paper, the stationery. This is also the beautiful antique receipt. Yes, it says here 1904. I'm gonna make this into a pocket. The ledger, the numbers paper, also going to make this into a pocket. The envelope, and this is the, the map again. So that's the signature, love this one, absolutely. We're not finished yet, no, no, no. I need to add some more bits and bobs and a closure. Let's concentrate on the closure. I want this to be fairly simple. I have these big islands. These are these are by We Are Memory Keepers, the big ones, like a bronzy one. Um, I'm gonna put that one here, just here on the flap in the middle. And I have another one of these threads, whatever it's called. It looks like leather, it isn't. So I'm just gonna put this here. Um, let's eyeball the middle, sort of, over there. Using my crocodile, is it on a bigger setting? It is. There you go, there's one. And this one. I do really like these big ones. Um, they punch very easily, it's like butter. Honestly, it is like butter. Now, hopefully there's enough of this sort of thread on here to use as a closure if not i'm gonna pick something else out but let's just see oh i think i think there is i think there is um i'm going to double it up for a little bit yes like uh five inches or so putting it through this loop and then putting both of these through there you go yes yeah and then we can wind it around for, oh yes, there's enough. And then you can tie these together. Gonna make a bow for now. It's absolutely perfect. Ta-da! Closure. Lovely, right? Yes, oh, it's so lovely and grungy. Um, I want to put this on the back. I folded it. Too bad that is on, this is on the outside, but that's okay. Um, I also put some of the lines on the, on the, well, this is actually the back, but on the front. Because I want to glue it on here uh, as a double pocket. Because this is a pocket and also going to be a tuck on the other side. But for this, we need to open this up. So I folded it. I inked it everywhere. Well, on the pieces that were going to be visible. So now we're going to put a bead of glue on this line over here and on this line over there. There you go. Now I used a die cut for this, which is totally unnecessary because I could have made this just with my scissors. Um, but you know, I have it, let's use it, why not? Great. So I want to have this one on the back, covering this, because that looks very modern. Over here, like so. The question is, do we want something behind there? I have some bits and bobs somewhere. I have some of my bits and bobs here that I wanted to try on, uh, on this one. Um... Oh, I made these the other day. Have you seen these? So cute. Oh, wow. Why not put one of these? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Yes. Use it just straight away. I just made these. Using our bits and bobs. I'm gonna put this behind here. And then I'm going to glue this. Uh, on two on two sides, this side and this side, yeah. I'm using art glitter glue for this because it's very heavy paper. And I really want this to be stuck on here. Oh, look at all this loveliness. I should have I should have stamped it before I put this on, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine with it. Can we take it off? Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm taking it off. Because I want to stamp something first. Because we have these lines here. We have these lines. 
good thing art wasn't working yet. <laughs> and now we've primed it. We've primed it. Let me take out my stamp set again and do some lovely stamping um, on this part as well. Here are my stamps. Um, I am well aware that some of these stamps will be partially covered. But, you know, that's okay. That is okay. Also, don't mind using some of the same phrases that are on the front. Because, you know, they're on the back. Who cares? Who cares? And that's just lovely. If only, guys, if only I had my... Um, the number one stamp set of this. Hoping this will work because there's a signature inside. It does. Grand Magazine. I think it's it's magazines is um, shops. But my French is rubbish, of course. I'm going to have this. That's this one, right? Yeah. I absolutely love that one with the handwriting. A little bit here on the bottom. Yes. And then one more. Oh, note importante. How will this look? Oh yes, just in the middle here. Can I see? I need to move. Yes. Yes. See? So if we put it on now, it looks like this. It's great. Absolutely great. Do you want something here? Something like this one? But this is washi. No. No, I'm not going to do it. Now, hopefully, uh, this will stick again. I primed it. <laughs> no, you didn't. You made a mistake. And there you go. Of course, I'm going to stamp on, the, on this one as well. Yes. I'm not going to leave it as such. No. Because there are a couple of stamps on here that I haven't tried yet. Like this one. Uh, a block. It's ridiculously nice. It's ridiculously nice. I love it a bunch. Uh, shall we do another Paris? I'm sorry if this is a long video, guys. I don't know. I've been, you know, crafting for hours. And I have Paris over here. That didn't go well, but that's okay. Makes it look more authentic. And, uh, oh yes, these numbers. Sort of written numbers here. Can do them like so, like they're sort of handwritten on. Yes. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. I want one more over here. Yes, we also have this. No, I don't think it will look nice. No, it doesn't work there. I think, I think we're done for now. I still have so many ideas for this journal. Uh, I really want to finish it. So uh, I'm going to do something more to the cover. But, and I'm, I'm hoping you'll be okay with this, guys. I want to do some more decorating and embellishing and, and some sort of journaling in here during the 100 day challenge. So there's going to be a couple of uh, videos coming up soon. Um, that's the wrong side, love. Where I work in this journal. Where I add some more bits and bobs. Maybe decorate a page or so. Move it over. It's going to be a little bit more over there. I want this to sort of disappear for a little bit under the flap. And I want this to be... Over here, right? Yes. These are just uh, Tracy Fox labels. And I really grunge them up. 
Yep. So yeah. Is there nothing here? No. Let's close her up. Fantastic. Wanna do uh, an end result slash flip through? Let's do it. Here it is. It's a beauty. Uh, this is going to be the story so far. Because I really want to finish this. I want to give it a real go. So this is not finished yet. Let me show you how far we have gotten. I really want to do a lot to this uh, cute little beauty. So yes, uh, this is the closure. I love the closure. I grunged it up a lot. Fold this over. Sort of wrinkled it and inked it. And I'm going to do lots, lots more to it. Uh, yes, we have this beautiful um, uh, acetate pocket window thingy. It's so cute. With all the stamping and the splattering. I'm going to make a pocket here for sure. This is the signature thus far. Uh, just beautiful papers in here. Uh, they need to be decorated. I made this pocket here. Yes. And... Um, I put a strip of washi here because I really wanted, want, did not want it to rip. Because there's a perforated line here. And this is probably from the... I don't even know when it's from. The middle of the signature. This has a fold out. But because this paper is from 1868. This is not a reproduction. This is really over 100 years old. Um, oh, almost 150 years old. Um, I put a piece of washi tape. Uh, a tape here to strengthen it yeah so you can sort of flip it out what is was there a date on here 1927 so yeah uh it's not vintage that is antique in my book um pockets from the envelope that we put in i ripped this one we need to ink it I'm gonna put lovely tabs on here everywhere it is just too beautiful guys made a pocket here as well Big pocket here from a coffee dyed vintage envelope. This is a vintage envelope. And then again from the map. Uh, I'm going to have a big pocket uh, on the back. With all sorts of lovely decorations. On the back we also did um, this from the die cut set. Now speaking of the die cuts. I've used this Tim Holtz set 665926. I have three. They all sort of relate to one another. This is... Uh, well. 665930 and probably 27028. I don't know. These are chapter 3. They are called. Yes. If you are a beginner. Yes. And you are going to sort of start this journey with junk journaling. This is not something you invest in straight away. If you have been a junk journaler for quite some time. And you do have sort of the budget for this. I do recommend it. Because you can have so many uses out of this. I... I already see possibilities, opportunities. So I am happy I invested in them. But don't buy them if you're just starting out. Or if it's not within your budget. Um, if you are starting out and it is in your budget, buy this one. I, Guys, I'm not affiliated. I'm just excited and I want to give my honest opinion. Creative Expressions, designed by Sample. It's dates from the past. This is part two. There is a part one that doesn't say part one. The part one just says dates from the past. Um, that one is out there for quite some time now. Um, so I'm hoping you can find it. If you are a Dutchie and you want this one, you can get it at Duoding. I'm going to link her uh, web website below. Also, not affiliated, but I do love this shop. Don't order from there if you're from outside Belgium, Netherlands or uh, Germany. And she has, uh, it's a craft shop. So she has lots. Elizabeth Craft Designs. Yes, go, you know, visit the web shop. Um, yes, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thank you to Barbara for the inspiration. I love it. Yes, it made me do this. <laughs> so thanks. Uh, thanks, Barbara. Um, please, guys, let me know in the comments because I really want your opinion. Um, do you want to see more of this? Shall we do lots of filling of pages, doing some sort of junk journaling? And with junk journaling, I don't mean this is today and this is what I did today. I'm not going to write in it. I'm just going to decorate it. Yeah. And make a femme for it. Not in a long video, in a shorter one, in the 100 day one. So hopefully you'll be okay with it. Please let me know. Uh, speaking of the 100 day project, it's on every day, guys. So um, 
the one that's on tomorrow is probably my favorite one that I've done this uh, this season. So go check it out. I really love that one. Unfortunately, the project that I made is too tall for this journal. I would have loved to have it in here. So go check it out uh, tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye, guys.